Hi, it is Monday morning, August 1st, and it is two minutes till noon. And in two minutes, I'm going to launch my new Kickstarter campaign, all about space cats. And I'm so excited, and I'm bringing you with me. I already have the page up. You know what? I'm just gonna click it. If it takes a few minutes to load, I will cry. Okay, I'm going to click it. I'm gonna go live. All right, friends, this is really difficult because I wanna film it with my phone for social media and I also want to film it for you! Well that was a bit shocking! I click on the launch page and it goes live and then the alarms go off because it's the first of the month and that's something that happens here in the Netherlands. Sometimes I forget. It's live! Oh, I'm not filming. <laughs> Start over. It's live! The Space Cat Kickstarter is now officially launched and you can see it very exciting in the I had this whole idea that I was going to film the entire like launch thing and then maybe something would happen but then I remembered that my last Kickstarter was pretty successful but it took five or six hours for it to reach the base goal so then I would have to film myself just sitting here for five or six hours. Now I'm gonna film myself sitting here and launching it on social media and stuff but still it's different <laughs> i already got a, I, I already got a backer i got a backer what no way what who well alec doty thank you ah, i've already got a backer oh my god oh my god oh what was i doing oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah <laughs> okay this on my phone on the ticky toki I'm on two phones now. Hi. I'm filming this as well on my camera because, uh, yeah, I didn't know I was going to go. What was going to happen? I need to go say thank you to Team Goosey back by Kickstarter. Hi guys, it's day three of the Kickstarter and things are going super well. Oh, oops. So we've hit our base goal. We've gone through stretch goal number one, two, three, four, I think. So we've got the Astro Cat pin, the Catstronaut pin, the Catern pin. We've got bookmarks, we've got stickers. That's five, that's five stretch goals. And now we're on our way towards some watch tape. In the meantime, I thought, Maybe it's a good idea to try and figure out how heavy all of this is going to be because that will affect my shipping costs, especially towards the US and Australia and places like that. And I'm noticing that most of the large packages will be going there at this point. So I'm going to try that. Dim is calling me, I will be back. <laughs> I just went to lunch with my friend Berber and we had a really nice lunch talking about art and business. She's been getting back into art and now she wants to start her business around it. Just starting it as a sort of side hustle to start with. And it was really fun to be able to talk to someone about my learnings and my experience on the topic of having an art business. Even though sometimes it feels like I don't have that much experience, it turns out I had a lot to say and a lot of stuff that she found very interesting. So that was really fun. And now I'm trying to figure out what to do because it's day four of my Kickstarter. Uh, the growth has slowed down a little bit. It's stalled a little bit. Nobody new has applied today. That's very normal. Usually you have a big increase at the start and then it goes flat and then another increase at the end. But of course I want to maximize this Kickstarter for all it's worth because I want to be able to make, make everything. Right now we're up to 
stretch goal number five, I think, or six. Which means that next we have the washi tape and then the mini pins and then the tote bag. And I want to be able to get all three because I want to be able to give people all three, especially the people who chose for the everything in the bag package. So I'm going to try to figure out how to do that. I have to work on the two bookmark designs that were unlocked. I haven't made them yet, but they'll be based on the designs that I already have. So I don't think that will be too hard. I also have an anime con in one week and I have to do all my printing for that. I have to make bookmarks and all that kind of stuff. Let's see what we do next. Oh, I, first I need to update my Kickstarter page so that it shows which new rewards have been unlocked. So let's get to work on that. Friday morning and last night I ran into a bit of a problem because I thought I'd start printing and I thought I had a lot of paper left and it turns out I didn't have any paper left and also they don't have any paper online. So that basically means that I can't print all the prints that I want to print for Abunai. And because at a con you never know what's going to sell, I want to bring a lot of different prints. So now I'm going to get them printed at the printer where I usually get things printed, which means I I have to prep 27 prints for the printer in one day. Pray for me. <laughs> oh. And I'm also beginning to realize why I hate not printing things myself or why I love printing things myself. Because when you're printing things yourself, you can run a test print and you can see if the colors are off and you can adjust it as you go. By now, I know exactly what kind of edits I need to do for all of my prints. That's Monho is just using the scratching post right next to me. Hi, you're using it. That's great timing. Thank you. Ah! <laughs> she grabbed my camera bag this thing. So when you print at home, you can just edit everything yourself. You can adjust the color. You can make this beige a little bit more peach and a little less blush and all that kind of stuff. And I'm a total perfectionist. I just want it to look exactly the way I want it to look, which is very close to the original, but better. And now I don't have that option. I also didn't have any milk for my coffee, so I have a hot chocolate coffee. Let's hope this keeps me going as I edit 27 designs. Yay! I did it. I spent all day in a complete frantic constant working vibe but I did it I got all the prints done they're shipped off to the printer and I got them in time for the deadline I finished it at three and they were supposed to be in at four so that's one thing down and I'm completely wiped now so I think I'm going to play a little bit of cozy grove maybe I mean we all need to relax a little bit sometimes right story I'm currently standing in the grass next to the road because I forgot to check the gas there's a gas station right there <sighs> I'm mortified I'm dying like, I can't even turn it on I can't even turn the gas on to, to like drive further I will show you that is where Dean is standing right now I couldn't even get there 
and the station is right there. So he's getting gas and then hopefully we can finally go home and get groceries and get lunch. Oh, I'm such an idiot. Oh my God. Well, we got home safe and sound. Dean went to the gas station, he got some gas. Just enough so he could drive to the gas station, which was literally so close. We stopped there for a little bit, had a snack, a sandwich, some sugary drinks so he could recover. And then we drove home. We were immediately welcomed by the welcome committee. <laughs> Our name is Cats. Now I'm very tired and I'm gonna take a nap. It's Monday and I just got my prints for Amadai, which is now just three days away. I've been completely engrossed in Kickstarter promotion over the past week and I completely sort of spaced on having to prep for Amadai. So I just worked on designing the bookmarks for the Kickstarter and I will also be bringing them to Amadai. And this also has Kickstarter prints. So I am going to unpack them. Everything with the car turned out fine this weekend. I still don't understand what that guy was thinking. He gave the car to us and he was like, no, normally I put 20 bucks worth of gas in the car, but I didn't have time, so here's 20 bucks. But he didn't mention that we couldn't drive the eight minutes to get to the gas station. And we stalled right in front of the gas station. It was absolutely insane. And I don't know how he figured this was going to go down. But we made it, we made it home. And we now have a car, which means we can now drive to Abnai. <laughs> which we really, really need it. Oh my God. <gasps> Look at that. That is one of the prints that's gonna be available. Oh, I forgot to mention, the kick Kickstarter is now at this point, I think 16 or 17 years away from reaching the last stretch goal, the tote bag. We've reached almost everything. It's something insane i keep looking at it and being completely blown away by the fact that we've already gotten so far and it's been a week and a day um so these are going to be extra print designs and sizes for the kickstarter that may be available as a freebie or as an add-on i don't know yet but it's these oh look at it it's so good i love it okay I'm going to finish this vlog here so that I can get started on kick, uh, not on Kickstarter prep, so I can get started on the rest of my Abenai prep. I'm going to try to film that too and then I can turn that into a second vlog, which will be all about Abenai. Um, I don't know if I'll have time to upload this before Abenai. I really hope I do. In case I don't, no, in case I do, I hope I will see you there. I'm very excited. Um, it sounds like I am not ready for it yet, but I'm a lot more ready now. <laughs> I'm going to be printing all the bookmarks today and tomorrow I'm going to try to make the bags. Um, thanks for hanging out with me and I will talk to you soon. Love you, bye!